Hey guys, Tales of Creed here. Welcome back to some more Let's Play Tales of Graces F. Whoa, <laughs> that was a little weird. Um, so I'm trying something a little bit different with my mic, and holy crap, I just realized how freaking big those audio levels look now. So hopefully, hopefully it's not too loud. I'll turn it down and edit it in, because it might be a little loud. Anyway, last time, we, uh... Finished off the childhood arc with a very tear-jerking ending, so we're gonna start this up. Sorry if you can hear the uh, the sound from my headphones. I had to start from the very beginning. So the very beginning might be a little loud on sound. So, seven years later. So it was seven, I didn't know it was seven years. It went that way! Right. We will survive! Whoa! Okay. Holy crap! I wasn't expecting to be thrown at battle. Oh, draw my sword. There we go. Demon Fang, nice. Oh, so that's how you do the arts, okay. So you do use the friggin' circle button. Oh, that is so cool. Okay, that is awesome. Oh, you thought you had me. Boom. That was fucking awesome. Okay, wow, I just learned something. I kind of skipped it. I'm sorry. So, burst arts or B arts are now available in battle. At the cost of 1 CC, Asbel can draw his sword at any time and gain access to a whole new set of attacks. That is fucking amazing. Thank you. I really appreciate that. I'm so glad uh, that started that way. <laughs> Well done, Asbel. I see my worries about your first field mission were completely unfounded. Sir, my success is due to your superior instruction. You don't have to be so formal. Just keep doing what you've been doing and we'll be fine. Thanks, Sir. Duke. All right. Let's go over the mission briefing one more time. We are here to investigate Orlan, a village located on the far side of the forest. It has a population of about 50, give or take, mostly employed in forestry. A few days ago, the Royal Knights received word that the residents of Orlan had suddenly vanished without a trace. Well, that's not good. Our mission is to meet the Knights investigating the area and provide them with whatever assistance they require. Understood, sir. It's an unusual mission. Keep your guard up and be prepared for anything. I'm always prepared. This concludes the briefing. Shouldn't I have had the briefing, like, before we left? Uh, well, sure, I guess. I'll just do a new one. I'm gonna start making new save files just so I can not lose my data and everything, just in case, you know? Being safe and all that crap. I love... Okay, I'm just gonna go out and say... I love Asbel's uh, uniform or costume or whatever you want to call it. I love his clothes. I think it's like the best in the tale, like the entire series. I think his his clothes are like the best in the entire series. I love them. So let's check out uh, some titles and stuff. So we still have everything. Whoa, whoa, what's that back there? Initiate, initiate of the sword or initiate, initiate. So we still have like all the stuff from the the previous arc. I guess we'll stick with that one because it's not finished yet. Aspiring knights, awesome. Okay, so guess we'll talk to him a bit more. Give you something. Cool. Give me stuff. Ooh, an Elith mixer. Mysterious device that can transform Elith into items. Huh. It's an Elith mixer. We have some real battles ahead of us, so it should come in handy. I know you've probably trained with one before, but let's go over it again just in case. Yes, sir. 
And the mixer is a tool we use for cooking dishes. Yay. Okay, rice ball. Simple, no? Oh, I be a little cook bastard. That's cool. Uh, I'm gonna select one of the empty slots and put in apple gel. What a waste of an apple gel. <sighs> okay, now remember Elith Mixer is handy, but it's not free. You can produce items without Elith. Fortunately, you can charge Elith at most shops. Lastly, as you know, Elith Mixers are tools that develop over time. By cooking dishes, you can increase the maximum amount of Elith the Mixer can store. Whoa! Now let's return to the mission. Thanks, man. I totally probably never gonna use that, but thanks. So, Malik, that's. I freaking think he's awesome. Okay. Well, got hurt. Great work, Captain. You're not doing so bad there yourself, as Hell yeah. Look at. You see down there? You, you see who got three stars and who got two? Yeah, that was me. I got three stars. Some arts can be learned from skills. Multiple skills may offer the same art, and it doesn't matter what you choose. However, if you learn the same art from more than one skill, it affects will stack, making it more powerful. That is cool shit. I am already liking this because the battle system got like ten times better. Let's get this underway. Damn it. was hardly worth dirtying my blade. Hell yeah. During battle, the gauge on the left side of the screen shows the Elith being produced. The blue portion is for your party and increases when you attack, or when you attack, or attack, guard, or evade an attack. The red portion is for enemies. Enemies suck, so it doesn't matter about them. Whoa. And 800 gold, very nice. Very nice. So I guess we're gonna check out this town that is up here. Apparently been like fucked over. Let's do this. Ow! I don't even know what hit me there. It will take more than that to stand in our way. Yeah. Man, I need to get used to Asbel, and I need to get used to the battle system again because I've been playing a lot of um, Persona 4 Arena, which uh, I actually need to talk about. So let's just move along. I didn't even like read that, so I'm sorry about that. Um, Persona 4 Arena, uh, there have been people... Oh, let's see what's down here. Are you thinking I didn't see that shit? I saw that shit from a mile away. Light bottle. Two of them. Remember your training. Mm? Damn, that was like fucking three seconds. Four seconds. If you want to give a boost to your portion of the elephant gauge, try attacking enemies from behind. That is fine to know. Holy crap, we're like getting a bunch more tutorials and stuff. I thought we were done with that. Um, so Persona 4 Arena, there, there have been a lot of people that have been getting um, copyright strikes from that. So I decided to put it on hold for a little bit. So I'm still, I'm still planning on doing it. It's just, it might be a little while. Let's get this underway. Damn it, that was dumb. That was hardly worth dirtying my blade. Yeah, man, I love the way he says that. Dualizing shards. Sometimes enemies will drop items known as shards. If you dualize the shards with weapons or armor, add defense. Oh, so it's like just boosting your armor and stuff. And Mal got a level up, so that's cool. Um. So yeah, that's that's a little something with Persona 4 Arena. That's why it was never posted. So if you didn't, I put an update in a video like in the description, but. Not a lot of people read that stuff. Damn, man. That is so cool. That is so awesome. Hey, dude. Turtles. Aw, oh, nuts. Just when I decided to set up shops in the forest, the place something gets destroyed. It seems really dangerous over there. Make sure you're prepared. I will be, and do I? Oh wow, I have a lot of money. Uh, I have so many apple jails, man. Dual eyes. <laughs> no. <clears throat> so I'm probably gonna have to learn that Elith mixer again, just because I completely skipped over that. So 
People are gonna yell at me for that, but I'm sorry. Um, holy bottles. I might need that later, actually. <laughs> I'm gonna buy 15 of them. Wait, no, I'm not. I don't have a lot of money. What am I talking about? I'll buy five. Because I might need them later. You make a purchase at a shop, you'll sometimes get stamps on the stamp card associated with that town. For every 10 stamps you'll receive, the town shops will band together and offer a special bargain item for purchase. That's cool. Hey, look at that, turtles! Uh, buy five of these. I think we're good. Let's see what's up for here first. And die. Take more than that to stand in our way. Yeah. Man, I am fucking loving this, and someone's title just leveled up, so maybe I should check that out. Okay, so you have four... Oh, by the way, I learned you can upgrade these to level six, apparently. So I guess you can get these up to level six. So I'll do those off-screen. I'm gonna level, like, all these up off-screen, pretty much. Which is gonna be so much freaking fun with how the battle system is so far. Iron Tunic, nice. Oh, that reminds me, I can put on that costume now. I kinda don't want to right now, but it's an option. Uh see. So, lasers my physical defense, or lasers, did I really say that? Uh, lowers my physical defense. Uh, I guess we'll put it on. So I could, if I really, 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 really want to, I could be like, yo, what's going on? I'm gonna put this shit on. Boom, there we go. Actually, how do I put it on? Do I just equip it? Whoa, did I just unlock a bunch of shit? Oh, maybe it's down here. Okay, there it is. Oh, so- oh, wow. I might do that sometime, but let's- let's put it on just to see how it looks. What? I thought- I thought- but the- but the- but the- but- but- Oh, it has to be leveled up to get the costume. Okay. Okay, I understand. Well, I'll do that later. It's not a big deal. It's not a big priority on my list, even though I paid for it. So, let's keep going! Oh, wait, Discovery, I am- everyone fucking yells at me over this. So, Merino Flowers. A flower that blooms only in the forest you use to make medicine, and we get three of them, yay! Flower power! Hold on. Yes, sir? These are Merino Flowers. Combine them with water of absolution, and you have the raw ingredients for a holy bottle. Wait here a minute. I've studied for seven years, and I still didn't know that. Am I really ready to become a knight? What's on your mind? Nothing, sir. It's just you're so knowledgeable about everything, and it makes me doubt myself. Knowledge for its own sake is meaningless. But this is information that can help you to protect yourself and others when you become a knight. Remember it. Sir. Aw, oh, don't worry. As Bill, I believe in you. You'll be the best knight in the world, and I will protect you and stuff. Don't worry, I got your back, As Bill. Watch this shit. Boom. You need to study up on the basics. Excuse me? I did most of that battle. Screw you, Malik. Even though you're pretty cool, you're a pretty cool guy. Um. Ooh, chest. Chip claw, so I guess that's something we can dualize with. I freaking love that word. Game on. I kinda just got rid of his spell. Oh well. Victory is ours. Yeah. I need to check out my arts, actually, because I haven't even looked at that, and I feel kind of lazy for that. So I got Demon Fang. The arts manual allows you to set B- Oh, so here we go. Okay, now this all makes sense to me. <laughs> can also press start to set shortcuts. Yay. Can we not? We don't have anything else? Okay. 
Alright. Um, also... You see that manual right there? No. There you go. There's your answer. I prefer semi-auto to manual. Oh, wait. I'm gonna be a smart little dick and be like, uh, bada bing bada boom, give me that apple gel, bam. Oh, it's three. I'm gonna take one and put the rest. Or, did I just discard the rest? Oh well. Um, I was on semi auto, wasn't I? Now I don't know what I was on because I thought, I thought it said I was on manual. Well, I just pushed over that rock with no friggin' uh, problem at all. That that makes so much sense. Bada bing, bada boom, I'm jumping. Whoa, there we go. Okay, let's actually have where we're supposed to go, which I could tell where it was because there was a save point when I got the item back there. So I think it's up here. Yeah, there it is. I may be saving new data like every fucking day long, so. Hope you don't mind. Eh. Oh man, I'm tired. Okay. Captain Malik, it's an honor to have you here, sir. What about me? I'm famous. What have you learned? Early reports on the missing villagers appear to be true. We found no trace of them. Jesus. It this place like is there was a fire. Fucked up. So it does. A bad one from the state of things. Any connection between the fire and the missing villagers? We're looking into that right now. If you could lend a hand, it would be much appreciated. No, I'm just gonna fucking ditch. Of course I'm gonna lend a hand. I'll leave this you to you guys. Well. Yes, sir. Is this the cadet we've been hearing about, Captain Malik? Dude, I'm freaking famous. This is Asbel Lant. Today is his first field mission. Hell yeah. It's an honor to meet you. Look at that shit. Look at me. I'm right, amazing. Let's get started. First, we'll split up and take a look around the village. If you find anything, let me know ASAP. Okay. Yes, sir. I thought you said that really weird. It's like Ace. ASAP or something. I thought you said it like that. I was like, what? Oh, Malik left the party. Oh, well. There's Malik right there. What a loser. Man, this village got fucked up. I mean, you can't get more fucked up than this. This is like Lufia 2 shit where uh, Goddess and uh, whatever the other dudes. I forgot the other one's name. Goddess and. Uh... It was, it was the third strongest one, the blonde hair one. I, I don't know, he had gold armor. But uh, he blew up shit like nobody's business. Uh, good luck out there. Show us what you're made of. I will. I may be the best thing ever. Okay, first of all, before we keep going on, I'm going to go over a few things. Um, people keep yelling at me about freaking uh, discoveries. It's blind. I'm not going to get all of them. What's that? What the fuck? So yeah, there's my discovery rant of about, of about 10 seconds. So I hope you enjoyed that. Because people keep yelling at me about those. Hmm. I shouldn't call the captain until I know where that noise is coming from. Now, where did it go? Well, before we check that out, I want to check out the rest of the town. Oh shit, what the fuck? What was that? Whoa. Is that a dog? Or maybe a wolf? A wolf with like friggin' ball and armor. I'm chasing that crap. Should be a clue somewhere. Okay. So I guess we'll check out that noise now. There it is. Whoa, look at that. He's going in the window probably. Or just no, he's just checking around. Damn! What the hell is this? He will survive! Oh, shit. Whoa, that hurt. What? Why can't I hurt it? Are you kidding me? You can't hurt it after one attack? I'm not about to lose here. Huh? 
it worked. All right. Was that Tiger Blade? Or not Tiger Blade? Was that, uh. Okay. Lightning Strike. I thought that was, um. Demon. No. Jeez, what was that attack called? It's like Luke's first art. Okay, we're gonna put this on, uh. I guess we'll play it on this one. Holy crap, that's so cool. Damn, you ain't got shit. Ow. I cooked a rice ball, though, so that's cool. Ow. Ow. Damn, how much HP you got, man? Not looking good. Oh, shit. Okay, I've reached that point where I'm like, whoa, better heal. Ow. Shit, shit. Shit. Oh, man, I'm getting my fucking ass whooped here. Okay, I need to heal again. <laughs> Come on. What? Oh my god, he keeps breaking my guard. <laughs> there we go. Thank you. Damn, that was pretty tough. Attributes of the attack characteristics associated with particular arts. A beast attribute, for example, increases damage to beast types. So apparently there's attributes now. And they're pretty fucking uh, crazy.